hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought it would be entertaining because of this whole quarantine thing situation going on i thought it'd be so entertaining to react to youtubers doing their diy acrylic nails at home because you guys know everything is closed right now um nail techs aren't really working salons aren't really open so i've been watching and seeing a bunch of youtubers upload them doing their own nails at home so we are going to be reacting to that today so if you guys want to see me react to them i keep on watching screen recording so i am going to just i guess put like in the search box um i don't know if i should put doing my own acrylic nails during quarantine okay i saw something popped up that said during quarantine doing my own okay so this was three days ago all right, so I did, this is, what is it? Oh wait, no, okay, so this one's Karina Bear Vlogs. Um, I guess this is one of Karina's channels. Um, I don't really follow her that much. I kind of follow her sister a little bit more because of the, I guess, glam side of it. Um, I think Karina's more known for slime videos, so I'm like 30 years old, I don't need, I don't know, I don't like, watching slime but i love karina she's really um a great personality i really wouldn't mind probably just, just like, watching them anyway but anyway she um she uploaded a video three days ago okay so and her okay so myra's the one that i saw i already saw a video of myra do her nails so i was like what in the world i was so entertained my boyfriend was like what are you watching i'm like just youtubers doing their nails during quarantine <laughs> he's looking at me like okay so we watched i watched myra um off recording so i am going to watch karina she's like the first person that appeared and there's like a couple people under so i do want to um try to do like the bigger known youtubers just because you know you guys probably know them more than um, a bunch of other ones but either way if i find something interesting that's not a big youtuber then i'll still click on it but as of now i think i'm just gonna start and watch karina um, is it Karina? Yeah, Karina. Because her and her sister are twins. They both have separate channels. So, let's start. Hey, girl. Hello. So, okay, she's starting. She already has all her stuff. She's pushing back her cuticles. She's snipping her cuticles. This is what I remember. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a bunch of crap. Like, I'm sure. I'm a thousand percent sure, but we're just doing it at home. Super ratchet, last minute, you know. Just really want some nails. I'm tired of these. I'm so tired of these. Why not just get it done, you know? On our own. All right, what next? Usually they would add a bunch of oils and stuff. Uh, these are actually, like, they fit snug, right? That is a little short for me. I don't know, I'm thinking of bringing them up about okay so she's adding press on now she's not actually doing acrylic nails but it says doing my own acrylic nails so i'm kind of lost maybe these are like a different type of thing i don't know let's keep watching right there let's try one nail because apparently this blends it together i'm gonna try the first one apparently you brush on some of this gel oh i I gotta stop it. I think she's doing like um not acrylic. It seems like she's doing like a dip method. Take a minute. Or I'm guessing I saw this new thing where you just use the resin, like my Mia Secret gel resin that I use for my stones. Um I think that's what she's doing and they call them gel nails. I don't know what kind of crap that is. I'm gonna apply some of this, not too much though, because I'm not putting it on all the way because I want it to be longer. I gotta lower this, it's so, so loud. You do this, and then you stick this on. I think it's already crooked. Oh my god, are you kidding? It's okay, well, we'll see, we'll see. Can't give up yet. We could shake them because she apparently the first thing you do now that I have 
this nail. It looks pretty easy. Which I blended it in. It says to go in with the brush on gel again, as you would like painting it. This is also like it has the glue, so I don't know how I feel about That's this. But I mean, hey, maybe it's amazing. I don't know. So I'm doing that as it says. Then it says using this brush over here, you go into the activator. Ah, the activator. So I just want to make sure I'm doing this To right. dry it. Uh -huh. If I think of the activator, we're going to let gel as you would apply polish. So like that. Oh my god, you can see the nail at the bottom. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to let this dry or like what's going to happen. I did the two steps. I'm going to let it dry and see how sturdy this is. Okay, she's doing the rest. Before I even go into the shape and everything, I have to go in with the cleaner now. This guy and this guy. Oh, to clean the brush. Helps it blend in. So you put it on and you buff it out. Wait, why is the cleaner? I thought it was like the brush cleaner. What is, what is that? So that blends in a little bit. Oh, know? that file is horrible. That's the little file that they all come with probably. Oh yeah, I see it in I'm here. I'm also not realizing that I wish they were a little bit longer, but this is fine. I went ahead and shaped this one and added oh, her shaping. another layer. Not bad, Karina. The nails, I'm not gonna shape them until I add layers. So one layer of that. I mean, so far it's working. The only it thing I'm worried about so is easy. the fact that the oh, she's gel making it look drying easy. out. This one right here. This is just the base, you guys, of getting that stiff acrylic vibe. I'm assuming acrylic or gel vibe. Oh, Lord. This is nowhere near done because no, after right. this, <laughs> when you actually go in and polish everything. Hopefully the two layers that they say are enough. I'm gonna go in and do my other hand. Come on, Karina, what you do? Between this one, it literally just popped off my finger, so I have to stick back on. I don't even know what the hell I'm it doing. It popped but... off, guys. That means some, she did either something wrong or the product's not good. She Now she's using regular polish to I literally have weight sauce on my fingers. So oh no. Some of these. Oh, she did not do a good job. Maybe the purple ones, like the grapes, because that's the only purple ones in there. I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet, guys. I'm just kind of experimenting. They don't look that. so this bad. So far. But they're lumpy, <laughs> so it's pretty noticeable. Oh, that's kind of cute. So I put little oh, uh, grapes cute. on here. I like that. I think they're really cute. They're not perfect. Yeah, they're not perfect for you. <laughs> But they don't look bad. From far away, nobody would notice. And with a little bit of like cuticle oil. But so far, I like them. I have these flakes that I'm gonna put on my finger. On my oh, finger. she's still going. Oh, she's doing. She's going for the nice crazy nail art. Um, kind of regretting this one. I feel like it looks too oh, chunky. Oh, girl, that's too chunky. I'm gonna take this off. I kind of want another clear nail to be able to put the flakes. I also have to be careful about the acetone because it dissolves. She's peeling it all. Oh, she did a friend. Tape to see if it works. So these are the first three nails. This one looks a little bit rough, but it's only if you look up close. And <laughs> it's only if you look up close. Some acetone. I drew on the line that I want to cut. I want to take it off, cut it, and then do what I was doing with the. No polish, and I'll be back when this hand is done. But look how good this looks. Oh, I want to show you the table because it is so dirty. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's how my I table looks, looks when, I when I'm done. And I have all this when I was experimenting. You guys, she has so much nail art. She ordered so much stuff. First, that's how right here I'm dead. Um, when I was adding these, and then I added that, and then I added that, and then it was like all on my freaking hands at one point, like all on my nails. And it looked kind of crazy. Like, I feel like they were looking cute in the beginning, and then I messed it up by adding way too much, and it was just chunky disaster. Let's go ahead. And Those look cute. That's not bad. I'm forwarding it because I want to see the final out. product. I just don't know which one I, I like more. I like the French ones. Okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to rate all their nails. So. From one to ten, I like her left French now, so that's what I'm just gonna rate, and I will give it a solid six and a half. That's not too like bad. Both of them. I feel like they're both unique in their own way. 
I really like her the little fruits with the white. That's really cute. So I'm going to move on and I am going to find somebody else. But Karina, you did a good job. Um, I really like the left hand you did, if you're watching this. Um, she did a good job. So I feel like when if people were to just practice more doing their own nails, I'm pretty sure they can get it. I'm going to watch Lore... Lore DIY. I started watching it the other day, but I never saw what she did. So we are gonna watch Lore DIY attempt acrylic nails at home. In painting, like art of any kind, there's gotta be some transferable skills here. And oh, I wow. really think with the combined of power stuff. of YouTube tutorials and my three and a half weeks, if you can just say a moment for them, Diane, my cherished nail tech. I'm so sorry for what I'm potentially about to do to your hard, hard. Oh. do it y'all let's get ratchet <laughs> okay so i watched a bunch of tutorials and when i say a bunch i mean two or three and i feel like i kind of know what i'm supposed to be doing i even ordered the drill thingy to get wow. my old gel off so essentially these are my real nails luckily i don't have to do the whole procedure of like adding new tip okay we are going to skip a little bit <laughs> This one is really cracked. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do about this one. Oh, no. I think I did a step out of, out of order. I just want to say something. <laughs> I feel like every girl at one point, including myself, tried to do their nails at home and thought, how hard can this be? And then you figure out it's pretty hard. You don't really get really good until you practice enough times. Even if you never do anybody else's nails, even doing your own nails, it takes a lot of, a lot of practice. Here, this doesn't. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Also, this is the best nail polish ever. It's called the Pandemic Ombre. Next, I have some really official looking uh, cuticle remover, official looking. which your girl needs real bad. Oh god. Oh jeez. That happens so to me all the time. Professional looking cuticle scraper thingies. And I think this is gonna be oddly satisfying, just even for myself. Is that all I do? Just like that. So watery. Oh yeah. Sometimes I need a snack or coffee when I'm doing my own nails because it is very time consuming. I don't know. I don't she know. Gets also, me. I don't have a little dippy thingy to put my, my monomer in. I need to just recompose myself. Ooh, wow. I'm too scared to remove all of it, so hence why we're doing a fill. Anyways, I got myself in this predicament and I'm going to get myself out of this predicament. I what is she using? Oh, what beads, she's using me a secret. Beads, and the whole nine yards of applying acrylic. And I'm scared. Also, very important that your nails are pointy. Okay, I see something wrong already. She's using a gel brush to do her acrylic. So make sure, guys, if you're going to do your own nails at home, use the right brush. Down, apparently. So gravity works with it and pulls the bead down. I think we just go for it. I haven't practiced at all. So you're supposed to go all the way down. Yes. And dip. Oh, that's definitely not what they were supposed to like. Ah! You're using the wrong brush, girl. Is this not a big enough brush? These are supposed to be nail brushes. Am I using the wrong one? Yeah. Now I'm nervous. Oh my you god, are. Oh my god, oh my god. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Oh, that's more of a bead. That's more of a bead for sure. Okay, oh god, maybe I should have tested this. Dry bead. Dry bead. I made a dry bead. Okay, so maybe it needs to be more of it. Oh my god, that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't know how that worked, but it did. I'm just going to go for it. Oh no. Nope, nope. No, no, that no, brush is just not gonna help. Get off. Dry bead, dry bead, dry bead. Okay, and we pat, 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 pat. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh my god, oh my god, what am I doing? 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 Oh my god, no wonder it's not sticking. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Okay, dehydrator and primer. What am I doing? Idiot. And this is just supposed that's to be. That's not the problem. The smaller brush. I got small fingers, and I don't know why I'm trying to do this with a big brush. So this feels good. This feels The like brush fun. wouldn't matter. Kind of. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. Okay, and then we pat 
and I put it down not too close to the cuticle. You're already working with us. Oh my god, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I think it's happening. Wow, it dries so fast. Okay, that's stressful. That's stressful. Oh, these are the times where I wish I had paid more attention while she was doing my nails. Okay, well, that's pretty much hardened down. We'll we'll file that down. Oh, to the next nail. Wow, this is hard. I totally understand why you go to school and this is a They don't teach you this at school. Oh my gosh, this one feels pretty good. You teach yourself. <laughs> We're gonna see her final result. Oh, she's gonna polish oh them. Like they look so not bad. Back. My neck is hurting. So guys, let me know in the comments what other Being an outside DIYs anything. you want me to do while we're in quarantine. And that these like hollow I'm and kind of jealous so much mean. better when you have a base coat of some kind of color. No clue. Ooh, this pink is really pretty. She's polishing. Okay, like I'm about to be able to do things in my life again. I'm gonna go in with. So from far away, they look great. They look A1. A top coat. I took notes, like the studious nail student that I was trying to be last night at 11 p.m. And uh, I missed the step. So it's color, cure, top coat, cure, powder, brush off, top coat, cure. What? Oh, yeah, that right. Okay, time for you to put powder. I'm just using this little thinky makeup brush. I feel like these are the ones that you got in like the play makeup sets when you were. Oh, little. she's doing oh, some gosh. chrome. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Wow, wow, her nails so look pretty good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Why would anyone have regular nails when they could have this? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, are you guys seeing this? I agree. This? Something about this is so satisfying too because you don't have to be exactly precise. Like you kind of slap it on and it looks good no matter pretty what. Much? Wow. All right, you guys, that is my left hand only self quarantine. Guys, she did really, really well. I can't believe that she used a gel brush to pick up the beads, the acrylic beads, and she was able to execute it really well. I give her, I give her a nine. Her nose looks really nice. Good job, Lord DIY. Okay, so we're gonna find one more person to react to, you guys. Okay, I don't know who this girl is. Vanessa Lynn. Okay, now we know. <laughs> Today is a special video because I am learning how to do nails. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time now, but if you do nails or you're into nails. Why is it stopping? I would use my drill, but I don't have the freaking. The sanding mats, probably. Oh, she's using Young Nails. She's using good products. Oh, and she's gonna go in with the forms like a pro. helps a lot too but you could also have bad skill with good products and have horrible nails she's all into her nails she's like <laughs> she's being so detailed She knows my pain. It wasn't, and it was a little bit choppy. I wish I could have got more, but I was out of the frame a lot of the time. I don't look too bad. Nail clipper and clip this nail. Clip. That's what I did one I time. I love the color that I chose. Do the sidewalls. I feel so cool knowing like 
terms like that. The last nail tech that I went to didn't know them. So it made me feel like a bad thing. Oh, snap. I did my homework. How does her, how does the nail tech that she went to not know the terminology to the nails? That's a bad sign. <laughs> that she knows more than the girl that she went to go get her nails from. So she's shaping and the file that she's using, you guys, is my favorite type of files. Those are from Sally's Beauty Secrets. You guys know I have something against Beauty Secrets Monomer because that's what gave me an allergic reaction. But their files are A1. What am I doing? Is that okay? <laughs> oh, she's doing her other hand. Okay, girl, let's see what you did at the end. Oh, she's polishing a neon green or yellow. I can't tell on camera or on the laptop. Let's see. Let's see the finished product. Oh. I couldn't even clean up the nail polish because I don't even have nail polish remover for one. This is a horrible idea. <gasps> it got all and stuff. Not even touch it. They look so bad. Yeah, if you, if you squint your eye like this, they don't look that bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and rate these. Let me look at them one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give her a. I'm gonna give her. You know what? I'm gonna give her a five. And you know what? They look horrible for her. She seems really, really knowledgeable about a lot of things. She got really good product. She made sure she was going around the um, cleaning around the cuticle when she was applying the acrylic. She knew the terminology for the sidewall. So for that, you get a five. But that's the only reason she got a five because if it was just the nails itself, I would have been like, "Are you got a one. You got a one. They look bad. But no, I think like, it just seems like her, I could tell she's the type of person if she really wanted to, she would practice and she would get really good. But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching because I was showing their videos. I will be linking their um, channels down in the description box below. Um, and I do thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It was really entertaining for me. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the post notification bell button, and the like button, guys, because it does help me a lot. We're on this um, big world of YouTube. So thank you guys so much once again. Until next time, bye, guys.